Alright, so now I'm going to show you how to install the driver for the CP10X. Um, so this is the download cable that has the USB mini. So that's that thicker one, so it's not the tiny phone charger one. Um, so if you do, we'll go on to that part. Um, so first we need to get it all connected up. So plug in your USB cable to both ends. Um, turn on dip switch 1, so that's dip switch 1 up, the other one's down. And then press the reset button. And then this rightmost LED, uh, this picture's upside down, but this LED over here should start blinking, and all the others should be off. If it's not like that, make sure that the dip switch 1 is up, and that you hit the reset button. Once you do, we can go and we'll do the, you need to download the driver. Alright, so once we're here, make sure that you download the one for the CP210X package, and not the CP2112 package. Um, you might think this one's just a newer version, but it's not, it won't work for us. So make sure you download the CP210X one up here at the top. Um, so I'll download the one for Windows since that's what I'm on. Get it downloaded, we'll go ahead into head to your downloads folder. Um, it'll be the CP210X, mine's underscore Windows. So we'll open that one up and install it. So we'll click yes, it'll go through its process of installing. Alright, so then it will ask us to read this, just making sure everything's good. Click next. Agree to the terms and conditions. Um, then it will ask you where to install it. We'll just do the default. So we'll go next. Uh, yep, next. Install. And then it'll go through. And now it does the installation process. Alright, then it will pop up this thing. So we'll click next. Have to accept to another agreement. Next. And then it will finish up the installation. So I'm going to go ahead and fit, hit finish, and now we get a congratulations, and we finished up, and there we go. So now we've got that installed, um, so yeah, there we go.